Welcome to this Advice video tutorial. In this video you will learn how to install and license Advice Connect, set up connections and add your Advice Connect data source to your Advice project. First, download the installation file from the Advice homepage. Go to advice.com and log in using your account details. In the main menu, click on the menu item Resources and then on Downloads. Choose the category Advice. Select the application Advice Connect. Click on the download link for Advice Connect for Windows 64-bit. During the installation, your computer may need to restart, so please ensure that you save all your documents before continuing with the installation. Start the installation. Click on More Info and Run Anyway. Allow device changes by clicking on Yes. If a restart is necessary, a restart offer is now shown. After the restart, start the installation again. The restart offer will not appear anymore. Accept the license agreement by clicking on Agree. You can choose the default install for the installation options. The component configuration client is optional. This component is needed for a local configuration of Advice Connect. Choose your desired destination folder and click on Next. Choose the default connections and click on Install. Now the installation starts. This process might take a few minutes. After a successful installation, click on Next. You will now get informed about the successful installation. Click on Close. Open the Advice Connect Configurator by clicking on the icon on your desktop. The Advice Connect Configurator will give you two options for a connection to Advice Connect. If Advice Connect runs on your local PC, click on Configure Product on this PC. If Advice Connect runs on another PC in your network, for example a Linux PC, click on Configure Product over Network. Click on Configure Product on this PC. The Connection Path window opens up. Advice Connect has three different license types. A temporary 72 hours license, a runtime license and a temporary license for tests and in-house developing. To open the license overview, click on the menu item Help and then on Device Licenses. By installing Advice Connect a 72 hours test license will be automatically activated. To assign the license to another module, just select the wanted module and click on Switch Demo License. Before you can activate a runtime license, you have to order the needed license package from Pachmann Visutech and the license needs to be available on your Advice account. Choose your desired module for activation and click on Request License Details. Copy the request code. Go to advice.com and click on Resource Advice License. As the hardware code type, choose Advice Connect. Paste the request code into the input field. Add a description to the license. Select the corresponding license type and click on Generate License. Confirm the license generation. Click on Show in your license list and copy the license text. Open the Advice Connect configurator and close the license activation window. Click on Enter License Codes. Paste the license text and click on Save. Close the license overview. To activate a test and in-house developing license for Advice Connect, this feature has to be activated for your Advice license. Open the Advice Builder. Click on Server My Server. Do a right click on Data Source and click on Add Data Source, Advice Connect. Enter a name for your data source. Enter the IP address and the port of the Advice Connect data source. You can find the port of the data source in the configuration tool. There you can already find the Advice Connect OPC UA server, which is our data source. Confirm with OK. 
the Advice Connect data source is now part of your Advice project tree. In the License Overview, there is a new developing module with the status Internally Licensed. To apply all changes after licensing, restart the Advice Connect configurator. Now we create a connection to your Siemens S7-1500. To add a new connection, click on the plus symbol. Type in a name for the connection. This name is also the name in the Advice Connect data source. Choose PLC Access and click on Next. Choose TCP IP as Network Protocol and Siemens S7 as PLC Controller Protocol and click Next. Enter the IP address of your PLC and click Next. If Advice Connect is able to connect to your PLC, the mode will be chosen automatically and the controller type and the controller name will be displayed. Click on Next. Now you get an overview of your settings. Click on Save. To test the connection, open the Advice Builder. The Advice Connect data source is only used for licensing. To use the Advice Connect data source in runtime, we'll now add it as an OPC UA data source to our project. Do right-click on Data Source and select Add Data Source OPC UA. Enter a name for the data source, the IP address and the board. Click on OK to finish. Now do a right-click on the OPC UA data source and click on Browse. Under Objects, Topics, you can now find all added connections which can be mirrored to your project. Copy the data structure with a right click and click on Copy. Do a right click on Objects and click on Paste and Mirror. In Output, Structure without Types. Type in a name for the data structure and click on Yes. You can see that the whole data structure has now been mirrored to your advice project. Open the main display with a double click. Add two in-out value elements by drag and drop to your display. Choose the first element and set the base parameter to one of your mirrored nodes. Repeat this for the second element. Save the display. Open the browser and connect to the advice server. You can now see and change the values of your PLC. Congratulations, you have successfully installed and licensed Advice Connect, set up a connection to a PLC and added an Advice Connect data source to your Advice project. Thank you for watching this Advice tutorial. For more information please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on advice.com.